Welcome to My Sitecore Diaries. Today we are going to talk about the newly released Sitecore 10.3.0. We'll see a few features of a Sitecore 10.3.0 and the uh, release notes of the Sitecore 10.3.0. Let me introduce myself. I'm Jitendra Kanekar. I am a Sitecore architect. So let's start. So release date of 10.3.0 is 1st December 2022. So what we are going to see in this video is what are the highlighted features of this version, what are the new features, what are the improvement, uh, uh, what are the deprecated uh, features, removed features, what are the issues resolved. Okay, so we will see in uh, detail now. So let's see what are the highlights of 10.3.0. First thing is. Uh, there are new management and administration APIs and also webhooks are introduced in the uh, Sitecore 10.3.0. Then uh, the second thing is the headless SXA with 10.3 uh, and they have introduced uh, some new components in the next.js uh, headless SXA. Okay. Then there is a OAuth support for custom SMTP deployment in EXM. There is a Linux support uh, for Sitecore CLI. Uh, they are also provided the uh, the uh, the support for the upcoming Windows update for 2022 uh, Windows Server 2022, which is expected to come in January. So these are the highlighted uh, features. Let's see in detail. Okay, uh, a bit in detail. First is the GraphQL authoring and management API. So uh, Sitecore has provided the APIs, okay, which uh, a GraphQL endpoint APIs for managing the Sitecore content and performing the some custom authoring tasks. So there are some AP APIs which are provided uh, for the GraphQL endpoints for managing uh, Sitecore content and performing some custom authoring tasks. Uh, so because of this task, uh, this APIs, now you can automate the some operation around the items, media items, search templates, etc okay so uh, because of the api you can do that they have not provided any uh, support for the user management management so there is no api which will help you to uh, uh, support the user management okay uh, it's so graphql authoring and management api which is introduced in 10.3.0 then there are some introduction some new features are added in headless sxa first of all next uh, next.js headless sxa component there are few components added in the next.js then sxa headlay uh, headless uh, there are some new concept are added like a page branches and site specific standard values and this is one of more um, uh, uh, important feature i think this is, this is a very important feature which is added like you can now duplicate the pages without duplicating the sub pages okay so you will have an option where you can duplicate page without sub page so that is uh, the in the headless sxa then webhooks so webhooks are basically user defined http callbacks triggered by the specific event so in in specific event the http callbacks are made that is called as a webhook so now sitecore has also introduced the webhook for the workflows okay so now that way with the help of that in the real time notification uh, you can have a real time notification about events or a workflow action that occur in xm webhook to run the external validation on item workflow state changes so if there are changes in the workflow state you can have a web webhooks which, which will call the external validation okay so there are three types of uh, uh, webhooks supported okay first is the event handler okay so you can receive information about the supported system events so uh, like example is event handler to send a request to a specified url when an item with the web page template is created so basically you can have a, a specified url okay which will get triggered which will uh, which will send a request when you changing you create an item with the web page template so this kind of a uh, event handlers you can have okay this is just an example okay so event handler uh, uh, type of a webhooks then you have a submit action so uh, at the time of a submit action also you can trigger the web, uh, to webhooks so example is uh, when an item using the workflow moves to the approved state so when you are changing from uh, item to, pro, uh, to the approved state okay then you can have a webhooks uh, uh, call okay 
then third option is a validation action so you can have provide a third party service the ability to approve or reject the changes in the workflow state of an item by creating a webhook webhook for validation action so you can now have a third party service okay so you 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 have a uh, you want to uh, you want some mechanism where third party can approve or reject the changes okay then you can have this kind of a webhook okay so when when a webhook validation sends a request the third party service must return a response so basically what is happening is uh, you will have a webhook which will call your third party that third party will validate it and that will give you a response back and then the completion will be done okay so this is very important these webhooks are very important in the 10.3 as a feature in the 10.3.0 <coughs> then embedded form framework Okay. Now, Sitecore has forms. Uh, Sitecore has provided a form support for embedded forms. So now you can embed a Sitecore forms within the application, and that application can be anything, even a non-Sitecore application. But for this, we need Sitecore 10.3.0 and later Sitecore Headless Services 21.0.0 or later. There are tools which is used in this. I think uh, we'll not go in detail, but you just remember the name Lit, which is a lightweight library to quick start the development of a web component, and Tailwind CSS, a CSS framework with a comprehensive set of highly reusable CSS class, which is used within this embedded framework. Okay, limitation is XDB ex uh, exclusive features are not available, so there are no XDB features are av available. Okay, so you cannot uh, track the events. Okay. X connect so there is a new tool introduced in the 10.3.0 okay which helps you to uh, export the contacts X connect contact into the files and that files can be and stored anywhere with on the azure blob as well as the file storage so this this is a new tool introduced in the X connect uh, database encryption this is a bit uh, uh, technical like you can have a transparent data encryption uh, okay on the uh, on on your database okay which will protect your critical data okay this use data at rest encryption then you have a sitecore cli so sitecore cli it is uh, uh, supports now linux based environment okay so this is support provided to the linux based uh, environment then identity uh, uh, identify database okay this is another feature which is introduced uh, uh, by uh, sitecode okay what happens is this will uh, this feature will help you to identify which database raised a publish end or publish end remote event so from where the publish end uh, remote event is triggered that is that can be identified by using this identify database feature okay these are the bit uh, uh, bit highlights of the uh, site course whatever we are uh, we uh, we have explained we have seen till now so now let's see a uh, release notes so this is the link for the release notes i will give you that link in the description also so if you see the uh, release note of the sitecore uh, 10.3 release uh, we will not go in detail but let's see few of them like containers we have few uh, uh, few changes which is introduced to few new features and improvement um, the one of the major uh, thing which you will see here the solar container has been updated to version 8.11.2 so now the the site core is supporting the site core solar 8.11.2 so we will see here site core graphql settings has been added to the parameters okay uh, you see our second one is like a low log level customization is now added for all site core roles then email email experience manager auth support has been added to exm custom smtp then if you see the installation sitecore installation assistant 15.0 supported sitecore xp 10.3.0 okay uh, sitecore now support ms sql transparent data in encryption td this which is what we discussed with td enabled data can be encrypted at a race to 
then uh, there are some uh, changes in the platform okay so some code level changes has been done uh, the performance of the filter item cache has been improved in the block uh, for jobs where the job dot status dot process property is not set the number of unit processed is no longer logged you can now receive a real time notification about events or workflow actions by creating a webhooks that is what we discussed you can also use a webhook to run external validation of the workflow status changes of an item okay i'm not reading everything okay i'm just checking the, i'm just giving you the uh, highlighted few of the uh, major points okay you can go through the release note to read everything then what is what are the things which is uh, removed from the 10.3 uh, the first thing is the horizon uh, end of the support so now horizon is removed and then there are a few things which is removed from the libraries like uh, an unused microsoft dot identity model dot client dot active directory reference was removed okay or the developer center has been marked as an absolute and will be removed in the future version okay so these are the things which are removed from the uh, release notes uh, from this uh, site code 10.3 mentioned in the release notes okay uh, okay then there are some resolved issues okay around 160 plus issue got resolved in site code 10.3.0 10 i'm not reading any list and i'm not even give, giving you that list you can go through the release note if you want to check what are the things which has been uh, resolved in this version okay then there is a specific uh, uh, known issues also given by every, every version so similarly we have a 10.3 uh, known issues there are around 152 uh, no, no, uh, known issues which you which you can read in this link uh, I will provide the link in the description if you want to go through all those links you, all those uh, issues you can read that or if you face any problem then you can see if that, that is in the uh, known issues okay so there are total 152 known issues in the site for 10.3.0 this is this is it i think all the uh, uh, this is what covered in the release notes uh, i think uh, we will we will try to install the site code 10.3.0 and we'll try to explore the uh, explore the features uh, soon okay so we are done for today's uh, uh, topic so thank you thanks for watching this video uh, you know where to reach me this is my gmail id site code jitu site code cms at gmail.com and this is my linkedin id if you have if you like the video please click on the like button please share the video or please provide your feedback via the comment and if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel click on a bell icon to get a latest update thank you thanks for watching